Hello everyone and welcome to the Sim Racing Alliance YouTube channel. Today I kind of wanted to give a quick demonstration how to quickly take nice in-game photos in Assetto Corsa Competizione because it is actually the in-game uh, photography tool isn't the easiest to use and there are a lot of demonstrations out there that go quite in depth but I wanted to show you what works for me and how to do it quickly effectively and still get great results. First and foremost, make sure that you actually have uh, a screenshot um, setting in Steam. So I'll go ahead and uh, open up Steam for you guys for my settings. And you can see over here we have a screenshot key and then a screenshot folder. I have it paired with F12, but if you go to um, or, I mean, realistically, you can set it to anything. F12 is just something that's not taken up for my keyboard, so it works for me. It's also the default. Make sure you have a screenshot folder in place. For me, I just have it in a in-game photo uh, folder. Um, I also find it ha handy to have screenshot uh, notifications and sounds, just to make sure that it's actually going through. Sometimes, for whatever reason, F12 might not be working. Um, but yeah, um, I like the sound and the notification. So we're going to go ahead and jump into the game here. Uh, I'm going to do a really quick um, showcase. Uh, I'm not actually going to do a lap, but uh, just show you um, how I usually prepare for taking photos. Say I just created a new livery and I wanted to show it off. Or I'm just doing some photos for uh, a promotional graphic, something like that for the league. Um, what I generally will do is I'll hop into the single player mode and uh, a quick little tip too is update your day slash night time so if you are doing a practice um, you can set the time I mean you can even do it in a quick little hot lap which is sometimes easier for these I'm gonna go ahead and make it 7 a.m. that way we get a nice warm lighting in the morning the lower the Sun is the better it's going to look in game so when you have reflections on the cars um, and uh, the lighting is looking fairly um, fairly warm, it usually means it's either AM or PM, like dusk or dawn. Um, middle of the day, when the sun is overhead, that's going to be when your car looks the flattest. So the colors aren't going to pop. There's going to be no contrast. Um, it's just... Uh, very very white and diffused lighting so I usually do 7 a.m. Um, or some tracks for if you're trying to do um, sundown it's usually at about 6 7 or 8 p.m. you might have to tinker around it depends on the track so let's go ahead and se do 7 a.m. at that point the Sun should be nice and low around here I'm gonna confirm that I have uh, just my Lamborghini. This is a, a livery that me and my teammate Chris created. I'm not actually taking photos to for any particular reason, but um, yeah, like I said, it's a great way of showing off uh, your livery that you created. So let's go ahead and start the session. And since we're just doing a hot lap today, it really doesn't matter. We're just going to hit drive. And uh, you know what? The sun isn't quite up here, but that's okay. Um, for the purpose of this video, it really doesn't matter. So all I'm going to do really quickly is just go around for... And I just realized I'm lagging ever so slightly, but for the purpose of this video, it doesn't matter. But... I'm literally going to do maybe 20 seconds of driving here, and that 20 seconds is going to be enough for me to have a video to save out after this, and get probably probably anywhere from like 20 to 30 uh, photos that I can just flip through. I mean, you can take as many photos as you want, but um, yeah, for the purpose of this, this is all I really need. And that lighting's nice, so let's just make sure I have an angle with this lighting. So I can use that as a backdrop. Perfect. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and pause that. Go to your replay, and hit save replay. 
Some people have replay saved automatically. I race a lot, so I don't want to save every single replay possible. I only save the replays that I uh, truly want. Um, I like to exit out of this. You, you can, uh, if you really want, take photos from here, but let's just quit. We'll do it my way to start, but um, you can also take photos from just at the in session right there. But say you're in a league race, you save your league race video afterwards, it's going to come into the gallery here. Let's head to the gallery and press play. Now, I already know kind of where I want to take the photo. It's gonna be right about here. Quite there. So I want to get a photo with this nice soft backdrop here. So let's go ahead, pause it there. Um, you'll then hit F7 to go free cam mode, and from there you're going to be using your arrow keys to go around, and then click and drag click and drag like that forget to get different angles. If you use your uh, mouse scroller, um, scroll up and you'll increase the speed in which this moves, decrease, and it, you can see it's just faintly moving because I decreased it all the way down. So let's go ahead and find an angle that looks the best for the car. Now, actually, I'll give you another little tip as well. So there are different modes. If you click your wheel down, your mouse wheel down, it'll open up this control panel here. There's a controls. We can ignore this altogether. It doesn't really matter. Um, if you really want, you can you can play around with it, but you can also do it just from moving your mouse around as well um, and the depth of field mode too. So I already forget what this was originally at. Let's just say it was at 90 degrees. That makes sense actually. So depth of field, it starts off as disabled. And it's a good thing it starts off as disabled because it will be super confusing for those that don't understand or don't have classes in photography, um, why it looks like that. So let's go ahead and enable it. This is what it generally would look like when you start. The lower the f-stop, the more blurred out it's going to be. Now, in order to actually focus it back in on the car, Right now, we're in a near setting. So the near setting focus distance is it wants to be as close to the car as possible. I don't want to take a photo as close as the car as possible. I want to take a photo nice and far away. And we're actually going to use the focal length to adjust it. So we're going to be pretend that in this instance, you are actually a photographer at the track. If you're a photographer at the track, you're not going to be right up next to the uh, car itself. So we're going to pretend that we're a photographer on the other side of the track. And we're going to start zooming in, zooming in with their zoom lenses. Now, it's still super blurry, and that's totally fine. What we've done is we've changed the focus distance to far so that we're actually focusing for a far off image. And we're going to start playing around with this. So you can see we're starting to blur out the background by adjusting our focus distance. The lower the aperture, once again, the blur, the more blurred out the background is going to be. So only what you're focusing on. So let's say right about, oh, no, a bit too far. This is about the limit of what it wants to do in this situation. So we're focusing on the car, the background is blurred and from here, you can still move it around, stay within that same distance, but if we start going forward, we're gonna start making everything else visible too. So if you start going backwards, forwards, you have to adjust the focal, uh, focal length or focused distance as well. Anyhow, um, I actually don't really like using that this setting, so I'm going to go ahead and disable it because what I actually want to do 
and I forget what the main setting was. But what I actually want to do is just get a nice photo of the car, say maybe from about here, with a motion blur effect to it. So if we're doing a motion video, we're going to naturally pick up motion blur. If I take this photo here right now, we're just going to get a nice crisp image like this. There's pretty much nothing more to it. So let's take that photo, F12. Now, to add the motion blur, what we're going to do is this camera, now that I've set this, it's locked in. Unless I've been clicking and dragging, there's going to be no changes. So let's go back to about where I had it. And all I'm going to do is unwind by about 10 seconds. Heck, I, I may, let's go f uh, 20 seconds and just have some fun with this. But the next step, you see the camera hasn't changed. It's locked into your car. Next step we're going to do, actually, you know what? Why not? Let's just press play from here. Drag your mouse off so that it eventually lowers that. And we're just going to take screenshots as this car is going through. And you can take as many as you want, as few as you want. But what I really enjoy doing is looking out for those spots where it's picking up a really nice lighting as well. Uh, the shinier car, which my car is a nice chrome, the more lighting it picks up. If you're using a matte car, you're not going to pick up too much lighting. And that was the clip. So, I'm going to go ahead and quit the replay. And I'm going to open up these photos and show you kind of what we got. So that was quite literally a, a two minutes worth of work. And going to head over to my in-game photo folder. We're just going to take a quick look. So, let's go for... Actually, you know what? Let's go for the first photo that I took, which is this one. And as you can see, everything's in focus. There's no motion blur involved in it at all. Oh, that was the previous photo. So now we're starting to get motion blur. And you can see the, the everything else that isn't moving along with the car is blurred out. So you're getting really nice blurry photos with the car kept in focus. It looks like it's moving. You have a nice sky in the background. There you go. These are how you get really easy photos by setting your camera up that you enjoy the most and just letting it follow your car for an entire lap. And if that, you know, angle doesn't end up working the best for you, go ahead and change it. Um, you can even you can even technically do it while the camera while the game is moving around. You just click on it, rotate it. So long as you're not using your arrow keys and stuff um, while the game is moving, you're not really losing too much focus. Um, and that way, you can experiment with different types of angles and how it's picking up different light. So I hope this is helpful for all of you. It was super helpful for me. There's there's so many different things that you can do. Um, when in, in this game when it comes to the photo editor but sometimes less is more and you can get a pretty cool photo without having to go into the nitty gritty of it so yeah once again thank you for tuning in to sim racing alliance and uh, I hope this uh, helps you guys all moving forward and can't wait to see your liveries and show offs throughout the course of the season thanks again bye